Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video where today we finally got the release trailer for the new zombies map called Garad Kravavir. I don't even know if I pronounced that right, but anyway, I have no idea what I just said either. It's literally like something like Garad Karavi, but anyway, it's going to be the new zombies map that's going to be coming to Black Ops 3 and then third DLC map pack, which will be coming out on July 12th. Which sucks for me because I have to wait till August 12th till I can actually play it because I play on Xbox. Which always sucks, like, it's, oh god, it really does suck, but now I know how PlayStation members feel. But anyway, this is going to be the new Zombies map coming into Black Ops 3, and this is awesome. This map looks absolutely awesome. This map is going to take place in Stalingrad, which I guess is somewhere in the world. I want to say it's in Russia. And if it's not in Russia, then it's probably in Germany, but it's in Stalingrad, right? It's in Stalingrad, and it seems like there's a lot on this map. Like, I only saw the first few seconds of the trailer, I hadn't seen much, but then I, all of a sudden I see all this new stuff. I'm like, holy crap, what is in this map and all that kind of stuff, you know? We got, and I, you know, there is one thing I did notice. You eventually see, like, these robots you have to shoot um, in this map, and I think those robots replace dogs, you know, like the dog rounds, you know, you would have, I think the robots replace those, Be I don't know, it's just a little, kind of, my opinion on things, I don't know, just something that I feel like it's what it is, but anyway, uh, yeah, there's some robots you have to fight, there's like these skeletal zombies that, um, are electrocuted, so those are like some different type of zombies you have to fight, uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, did I forget to mention there's a dragon or dragons, I should say. Yes, there is more than one dragon on the map, and these dragons are freaking huge as hell, which is crazy. And I guess Division 9, uh, which we kind of learned about Div Division 9 in the last DLC from uh, Shino, uh, not Shino Numa, but uh, Zetsubu no Shima. And I guess they ma Division 9 made these dragons for 935, and these dragons are huge, and yeah, it's just very, very awesome. I know I don't have any gameplay for you guys. I know I don't have the actual trailer playing in the background like all these other YouTubers do. The reason why I don't do that is because I know I'll get a copyright strike, and that would not be good on my channel. And then you're probably thinking, well, why can't you? All the other YouTubers are doing it. It's so complicated, you guys. I don't even know exactly how it works. Well, I do, but I just, it's, it's complicated. That's another story to tell. But anyway, yeah, this new DLC map is going to be awesome. So I'm just kind of like bringing out some pointers there, like dragons. There's going to be like robots. Uh, there's those electrical zombies. Uh, you have a shield. So that's no surprise. There's a buildable shield. And it looks like um, when you have the shield, you can like shoot out this goo while it's like placed in front of you or something. I don't know. That thing, I think that's what I saw in the trailer, but that could be like a new special grenade or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there, this map looks pretty interesting. The weird thing about this map is that there are a lot of new features I've seen, like a lot of new enemies you have to fight and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't really get a good feel of what the map layout is. I don't know how big it is. I don't know if it's going to be a big or small map or maybe a medium-sized map. I don't even know what the definition of those maps for zombie map sizes are. But, I mean, I didn't really get a good feeling of how the map layout is. I saw, like, a lot of new features and all that stuff, and, it, and apparently there isn't a new perk, sadly. Like, usually I remember back in Black Ops 2, like, every single DLC would come out, they would add this new perk cola machine. And it doesn't seem like they do that in Black Ops 3. But, yeah, I don't know what the map layout's going to be like. It didn't really, it looked like it was going to be a close quarters one, but I could be completely wrong about that. Um, def like the the one thing I will say about the theme of the map, it's like basically a war zone you're in. It's like the all the like a bunch of buildings are crumbled down. You see like one of the uh, uh, robots from Origins, like those giant robots, like um, is like crashed into a building. And then of course, like I mentioned earlier, there's dragons which you can ride on because at the end of the trailer, you actually see the four characters on top of a dragon and they're riding it. And if you see how big the characters are compared to the dragon. Holy freaking crap, those dragons are huge, I'll tell you that right now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how the dragons will work, uh, like, a lot of people, uh, I don't know a lot of people, but I did hear some people saying that this is, this is actually a really, really good, uh, good point right here. That the going, riding on the dragon could be, like, riding on the plane from Mob of the Dead, and in Mob of the Dead, when you rode the plane, you eventually crashed on the plane and you end up at Pack-a-Punch, and that could be the same thing but with the dragons, maybe the drag if you ride on the dragons, the dragons will lead you to pack a punch. That could be what it is. I do not know. 
um, or it could or like it like even might even though it may not be pack a punch you're going to it could be like a different way of transportation um, but then again you look at the trailer and you also see dragons like blowing fire at zombies which is really really interesting uh, but another thing I would like to mention really quick is that I believe there is going to be a Ray Gun Mark III in this DLC. And there's a couple of reasons why I think that. First of all, there's going to be an image on your screen that you guys are seeing right now. This looks like a dual wheel, like Ray Gun type things you're holding. Because it does look like there's two of those weapons right there from the mystery box. And it might be the Ray Gun Mark III or it could be similar to like the Zap Guns we've seen on the moon map. Which weren't technically Ray Guns. People would call them Zap Guns. They were like the special weapon on that map. And that that's this could be the special weapon on this map. It could, might not be the Ray Gun Mark III. But another reason why I kind of want to think it's the Ray Gun Mark III is back in Black Ops 2 when the third DLC came out, uh, that that third DLC map that came out for Black Ops 2 was called Buried, and with that map pack you got the Ray Gun Mark II, which was like a burst, uh, like it's like a submachine gun version of the Ray Gun, only it was like burst or something like that, I don't know. Uh, and with that Ray Gun Mark II, when you got it from... DLC 3, you could actually use that on all the other zombie maps. So if you had DLC 3, that was basically like the DLC weapon that came with the map pack. And once you got DLC 3, DLC, I can't talk right now, DLC 3 in Black Ops 2, you could use that Raygun Mark 2 on all the zombies maps. So I don't know if it's going to be the same way with Black Ops 3 with their third DLC. Uh, I don't know if Raygun Mark 2 is going to be like, uh, that, that comes with the package of a DLC 3 and I don't know if you're able to use this weapon like on all the zombie maps I don't even know if it's the Raygun Mark 3 but a lot of people are just saying that this might be the Raygun Mark 3 But we'll just have to wait and see it does look like a Raygun uh, like looks really similar to the Raygun Mark 2 And it could be a Raygun Mark 3 it looks like it's dual wield which is pretty cool, right? I think it looks pretty cool, but yeah there we go. Um, there is a lot to this map I could probably talk about, but I'm just here to let you guys know that this trailer is now out, and I will have a link in the description below if you guys have not seen it already. And so, anyway, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating for if you guys feel this video deserves. And what do you think of Garad Karavi, however you say this name, where it takes place in Stalingrad? Because I think this zombies map is going to be a lot better than Zetsubu no Shima. The only reason why I'm not a huge fan of Zetsubu no Shima is just because it's super freaking hard. Like, I think that map is just ridiculously hard. But I cannot wait to play this map in August, so I'll have to be watching YouTube videos um, once this map comes out in July until like August 12th. So, yeah, what do you guys let? Just what do you guys think? I just really, really, really want to hear guys' thoughts down below in the comments, and I will reply. I love reading comments. I love replying to you guys. I love feedback. It just makes me feel really good, and it also helps some helps out my channel. So, anyway, you guys, hopefully, you all enjoyed, and I shall catch you guys later.